Welcome back to the Breakdown Tech. Today I'm going to be talking about exactly what a DNS is. You may have recently heard about DNSs from Cloudflare watching theirs. Click the I up there to see exactly how to set that up, as well as how to set up Google DNS and OpenDNS, all of which we're going to be talking about in this video. But before we get into it, I want to remind you that this video is actually sponsored by Bluehost. Go to the breakdown.xyz slash Bluehost, first link down below to start a blog, a website, a, a website for your business, anything like that for just $3.95 a month. Awesome deal. We host our own website, thebreakdown.xyz over there. So uh, yeah, go check it out. Again, first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Bluehost. Also, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content exactly like this every single day of the week. We teach you guys different things. We build PCs. We do all that stuff. It's a fun time. So be sure to like and subscribe. But what exactly is a DNS? Well, DNS stands for Domain Name System system and basically every website on the internet, pretty much everything on the internet, works with a DNS in some way or another. It underpins the entire internet. So it's pretty important. It works in the background without us even knowing it. Taking domain names like our website, thebreakdown.xyz, and linking them to computer readable IP addresses, right? Strings of numbers basically. Computers like numbers. They don't like letters. They work off numbers and that's what a DNS does. It takes a domain name, letters, and links it to an IP address, numbers. DNS does this by looking up that information on a system of linked DNS servers across the internet. Basically, domain names are just the human readable website addresses that we use every single day. For example, the Breakdown's website. Our website's domain name is thebreakdown.xyz. That's what you know, that's what I know, that's what we can remember, and that's what we can build a brand around. And if you want to visit our website, you just type in the Breakdown .xyz into your address bar, hit enter, and boom, it just pops up. It happens and it works and it's that simple. The thing is though, your computer doesn't understand what the breakdown .xyz is. It's a string of random letters to it really and it doesn't work off letters. The internet works off numbers. And so a DNS takes that website that me and you know, the breakdown .xyz, and links it to our underlying IP address that allows you to reach the site. If you typed in the IP address for the breakdown directly into your web browser, it would take you to the website, just like the breakdown.xyz domain name takes you to the website. It's the same thing. If you type the IP address, it's going to take you there. If you type the domain name, it's going to take you there. We use the domain name because it's just easier to remember and it's easier to go to and like I said earlier, build a brand around. Also, IP addresses are known to change. DNS servers, and yet another reason they're so important, is they keep up with these changes, right? If Google changes the IP address for Google.com, a DNS server is going to be able to pick up on that and make sure that when you go to google.com, it still takes you to Google. However, if they didn't exist, if we had to go to the IP address, well, one, it would be hard to remember websites, and two, it could change. If Google changed their IP, they wouldn't be able to get people to the old IP, right? It would just send them into space and say website not available. But because you're going to google.com and DNS servers keep up with all this, you can change the underlying IP address of a domain without messing everything up. DNS is often explained as a digital phone book. In a phone book, you know, you look up someone's name and you get their phone number. With DNS, it looks up the website, right? The domain name, that's the name, and then finds the IP address, the phone number, right? So DNS is basically the digital phone book that works without you thinking about it. You just type in the name and it spits out the number to your computer for you. Now computers do cache DNS information locally on your computer as well. This makes it quicker to get to websites. That's why when you first ever go to a website, it can sometimes take a bit of time and that's because the DNS is loading, your computer's recognizing it, but when you go back to YouTube for the hundredth time today, you're going to be going faster because it's cached locally. The computer knows where to go, it's been there before and it's ready to do it without any issues. However, different DNS servers can have different effects on your internet speed. So most likely you're using your ISP, your internet service provider's recommended DNS. And that's what most people do, because most people don't even think about this. But if you switch over to another DNS, like Cloudflare's brand new 1.1.1.1 DNS, or Google's DNS service, or OpenDNS, you're going to be able to sometimes increase your response time. Now, that's not always the case. Sometimes your ISP is a lot quicker. However, if you're concerned about security and your ISP knowing where you're going online, Online, using Cloudflare's DNS guarantees nobody's going to do that. They don't keep records at 
all of where you're going online. Google and OpenDNS haven't said they do or they don't, but Cloudflare has. So if you're having trouble connecting to websites, but once you get to a website, things seem a little faster, and if maybe you're having trouble loading YouTube videos, one of the things you can try is changing your DNS. You click on the I up there, you're going to be able to see how to set up Cloudflare's DNS, how to set up Google's DNS, and how to set up OpenDNS. All three of those videos are over on our how-to channel. We covered all three of them for your guys' ease of use, so you can go check that out, and no matter which one you want to set up, I'm going to show you how to do it on your phone, on your computer, and directly on your router. So you've got tons of options to do this and make sure it's the easiest for you. Overall, changing your DNS server really just depends. Sometimes it'll speed up your internet, sometimes it'll keep it the same, and sometimes it will slow it down, and that can depend a lot on where the DNS server is located. For example, if you live in Australia, using a DNS server in the United States might not make much sense. Probably best to stick with your local one there or find an open, publicly available one in your area. However you live in the U.S., things like Cloudflare, Google, and OpenDNS are going to be great and typically speed up your internet over your ISP, who doesn't have as much server capacity as Google, Cloudflare, or OpenDNS. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's the ins and outs of DNS. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really does mean the world to us. I'm Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I'm out, guys. Peace.